Wheel size. Oh, it became so controversial all of a sudden. But let me tell you, let me give you a little perspective. When we started the company named Mountain Bikes in 1979, there was 26. And 26 was what was easily available. The 26 by 2125 Uniroyal Nobby cost $11 at retail and you could buy it at any shop in the United States. That was obviously the best tire. And let me tell you, we fussed around. Even though a 20 was a whole bunch lighter, the 26, it rolled over everything. And you know, that was sort of the obvious size. In those early days, we subscribed to a magazine called British Cycling Weekly. And we got these little tiny newsletters. And going through there, we found, whoa, who's this guy? Jeff Apps. Jeff Apps had an off-road bike. And man, he used 700C and 650B by 44 millimeter tires. And these were made in Finland by Haka Pavalta. Wow! Wow, look at that! And you could use a, you know, a Super Champion 700C rim or a 650B rim by Super Champion, this beautiful alloy rim. Well, we built 10 bikes in a 700C and we built five bikes in a 650B. And we got some tires sent over from Jeff Apps and um, the bikes worked, but the tires weren't cheap. So I was gonna have to charge like $100, $120 at retail for this tire. When anybody could walk into a shop and buy a, a Uniroyal Nobby for 11 bucks, hmm, I didn't know. And around the same time, the BMX guys in Southern California, they came out with alloy rims, Araya and Ukai alloy rims. And so a good old Schwinn S2 steel rim, which was the, the gold standard for clunkers, that was 55 ounces for one rim. Oh my God. And they were chrome plated. So if you used a set of calipers and it got wet, it'd be like, forget about it. You had no brakes whatsoever. But the alloy rim came out and we said, okay, 26 is here. 26 works. And that's why we went with 26. But always in the back of my mind and a few other of the original pioneers is like, maybe we should try a larger size. And man, it took a long time. It wasn't until like, uh, you know, the end of the 90s that we actually made a tire. And that first tire, and uh, for a 700C rim, but a full size 52 millimeter tire, I had the guys at WTB make that tire for me. You know, Charlie Cunningham from that organization, Mark Slate, that we'd been talking about this for years. And I finally, said, look, enough of this talk. Let's try it. Let's see if it works. So they made this one tire, and that's when we started our big experiment about the 29er. Is this gonna work or not? And I must say, it's really exciting to be with a company that it's like, we no longer have this problem that we go out and we play around. Nobody's asking for this. Why should we do it? Because we think it might work, and we should go try it out and see if it does. We can bring a tire in, we can make a tire that's totally competitive in every aspect. This is a great quality piece of rubber, a great designer, and guess what? A competitive price. We can do this. So we've been able to really open up the whole tire size thing, and now it's less of a debate.